Oh my god. Thank you so much. Yay! Yay. Okay, so I too was in the studio this Wednesday with William Christian Garcia and Chris Kennedy. The studio was absolutely immaculate. I felt like if I touched anything, like someone would have to come behind me and like clean it. It was just so beautiful and glittering and glistering. And it's the third time I've ever been in the studio. Um, and I work on the strip in a shitty, shitty job. And every time I go into a studio, it makes me want to forget about the shitty job that I work in and just throw caution to the wind. Um, so who knows? I may do that sooner or later. Um, so this is, a, I do spoken word. Um, I've been out here in Las Vegas for about a year and a half now. And this is a poem that I recorded on the day we went to the Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. I don't know. Whenever we went to this Wednesday, I don't know what day of the week it is anymore. Anyway, um, it's called How to Kill a Crippled Person in Six Easy Steps Just Because You Want to. One, put them in a basin just shallow enough so the cripples can't get out. My relationship with my Uncle Sam is almost incestuous. Every month, around the third, he enfolds me with his big burly arms, hair is pasty, white like glue. Leans me against his neck, whispers $906 in my left ear, lets me lean against poetry, against the monthly rent, against IHSS hours, against addictions to porn sites. Two, Grease the sod of the basin with Crisco or even Vaseline. How every six months, red tape catches my neck like a noose. Ask me questions on a piece of paper, the ink so thick, blotchy black, my eyes strain to read it. My head aches next to my left temple. They ask me if I still hear voices in my head. If I still get anxious in crowds of water droplets against the sink in public restrooms, make my skin crawl. When was the last time I had a seizure? When, if ever, have I had a staph infection? Three. Lay two or three of them cripples together, side by side in the basin. I, however, am not naive enough to think that somewhere on Capitol Hill, Republicans in finely pressed three-piece suits with ha schedules handwritten by their secretaries are thinking about me analyzing every pin scratch of a doctor's note, every medication record. I imagine their hands folding my case file shut. I imagine them asking why my six-month narrative is typed and never handwritten. I imagine their hands folding, throwing my case file in the circular bin. Four, add an inch of water every 10 or 15 minutes. One day soon, their voices will begin to crumble like a slow Texas heat. Cripples don't belong here. Or here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here. And when they are finished with me, I will be the boy in the back room again. My legs like jello because I haven't moved them. My wheelchair far away from the bed. My body ripe and stank, full of stench. Because as much as my parents love me, volunteerism doesn't pay the bills. And they have gone to look for green. Five. So after an hour, when the water has risen to their eyeballs, I imagine Republicans throwing food in the Democrats' faces. When the Speaker of the House of Representatives calls the House to order, he flings a gavel at the armed guard. When the armed guard falls to the floor, a thin crack forms at the top of his head. This is the start of the mayhem. What we have created, six, they claw each other as they gasp for air. Thank you. I love your shit, man. <laughs>